how goes life. I hope all is well. I have so much to say. Like, this weekend has been something crazy, amazing, special for me or whatever. But it's going to be broken up into two posts. So it's going to be this one and it's going to be the next one. And I hope you guys enjoy. Comment, like, share. Help a little sister out. Help me be awesome. Be happy. Be married. But in any case, let's talk about what I want to talk about. <laughs> all right. So, last night I went to a club with my mom and her friend, right? My mom and her friends. It was a special occasion, but I'll talk about that more in the next post. So, me and my mom are sitting outside waiting for one of her friends to pick us up so we can all go together. And as we're sitting outside, I noticed that this guy is having a conversation with who I assume was a woman. I assume it was a woman. He was on his cell phone, by the way. I assume it was a woman because of the way he was yelling at this person, berating this person, and talking down to this person. I wasn't trying to eavesdrop, but the dude was yelling at the top of his freaking lungs. And it's just so disturbing because conduct yourself like a man, not like a teenage boy who's yelling at his girlfriend. Conduct yourself like a man. Speak to this person in private when there's no yelling and you're not outside looking like a complete idiot. But in my experience with said person, he's, he's done this before. The whole yelling, screaming, berating, trying to be the big man, causing a show. But you look foolish, stupid. But anyway, so... He's yelling at this person, berating this person. And like I said, I assume it was a female because of the things that he was saying. And as I said, it happened before. So it, it started, it got me to thinking. I've written about this before in this blog, but I'm just going to speak about it now. Boyfriend, fiance, husband, significant other, girlfriend, anything along the lines. You're not about to talk to me like that. That's what you're not going to do. You're not going to yell and berate me like you don't got no damn sense and expect me to just sit there and take it. Now, I don't know who he was talking to on the other line, but the person never hung up the phone. That's stupid. I would have hung up the phone because you're not about to yell at me and scream at me when you can't take care of your responsibilities as a man or as a father. And even if you could, you still not going to talk to me like that. I don't allow people to disrespect me and I'm not going to sit there and take it. No, that's what we're not gonna do you're not gonna act like you don't have no sense when talking to me on the phone if you can't talk to me like an adult then you don't need to be having a conversation with me friendship or otherwise even if we're at work don't talk to me and expect me not to say nothing back to you like don't come to me with so much bass in your voice and think I'm not gonna bring you the stereo back that's what we're not gonna do you're not about to disrespect me if I do what I can to respect you, or more than that, respect myself enough not to go crazy on you, then give me that same courtesy. And if you feel like you can't, don't fucking talk to me. Don't be around me. Don't ask questions about me. Stay the fuck away from me if you can't talk to me like you have some sense. I want you to be an adult and have a conversation with me. And if you can't do that, then we don't need to speak. Sorry for all the attitude, but it just really, really bothered me because... You, as a man, you can't take care of the person who you have kids with, let alone your kids, and you would have the audacity to speak to me like I'm your child? No. We're not going to do that. that mm, that's what we're not going to do. But in any case, that was this post. Be excited about the next post. <laughs> the next post is going to be awesome. <laughs> Bye, guys.